Welcome back YouTube, this is Solus Me and 8 here with another Let's Play of Minecraft. I'm going to be showing you my world and I'm going to be trying to do a lot more videos of uh, my Minecraft world because I got a lot, I got a community here. So I thought it'd be fun just to kind of give you a little show and tell about around here so you guys know where everything's at. <clears throat> right here, this is just my little anvil in a random room. It works. Right here's my pumpkin patch. Well, watermelon patch. Ooh, cake. All right, if you come over here, this is uh, my potion brewing room, which has been claimed by one of uh, our one of our uh, other patrons of this world. Over here, Master Brewer Toxic King Cobra. He's our potion making salesman. <clears throat> Down here is the enchantment room. If you come on over here, this is obviously my furnace room. Keep everything well stocked. Uh, you probably could tell there's a lot of cake. That's uh, in dedication to Stampy Longhead. If you guys don't know his channel, I suggest you go check it out. He's a really funny guy. I like him. All right, so uh, right down here is the forge where all the armor and weapons are made. They come and buy them off of uh, the store clerk, which happens to be me. Pay with emeralds. All right, let's continue on with this tour. This room has not been designated yet. If anybody has any ideas on what to make this room, by all means, let me know. It also has a little second floor area. Nice little glass area. It's nice. I like it. Oh. <laughs> all right, so uh, if we come over here... <clears throat> This is uh, the nether wart farm for the brewer. Uh, let me just let me take the actual way around. You come over here. This is my nether portal room. Obviously pretty empty, but it has my nether portal. It's nice and pretty in there. All right, now we're gonna go into the home district. Where everybody lives. Right here is the conference hall. Whenever we have a big project, we all come in here and uh, talk it out. Try to figure out if people want to jump in to help out with this. Or if we're just all going to do our own little projects. Anything big, we usually just kind of agree on. Obviously, we are up in the trees this entire place. So it's nice and safe up here. Down this way is our construction in progress, our dining hall. <clears throat> Still need to build the table and everything, but this is where the dining hall is going to be. I think it's actually quite nice. Alright, let's continue on. Just letting you know, it was actually quite difficult to set all this glass here. It took at least six, seven tries. And over here is our nice little waterfall right before we hit the actual district. Have a little staircase right here going to the first house. This is actually Toxic King Cobras. I don't think he'll mind us taking a little peek inside his place. He, uh, he obviously loves Lapis. He loves Lapis. Alright. Here's his house. Obviously, I laid down a bunch of cake. He's almost eaten it all. It's not too bad. I mean, it's a nice little living place. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop down here. He has a little patio thing over there. Don't know what he's going to do with that. <clears throat> Alright, this is a Big Chief's house. 
made it purely out of leaves and actual wood. Took him quite some time, but it looks fabulous. It looks absolutely amazing in here. The outside, you couldn't even tell. It looks like a tree. All right, now if we're going to come over here, this is a house in progress. Um, the owner didn't put up a sign, so I'm just going to call this the blank house. Ooh, cake. And over here is, uh, actually the player that made this doesn't actually have a game, uh, uh, actual profile. Uh, she borrowed it for someone, and uh, that's how she was able to come in here and build this. <clears throat> this room is still to be decided. I built it just kind of a uh, end point for the living district, and uh, I added this glass. I ended up having too much, so I just kind of threw that down there. And if we come over here, this is, house belongs to Brett Baby Girl. She needs to put on a freaking sign and do a little touch up in here. But other than that, it's a very nice house. I like it. This one, uh, this one belongs to a friend of mine called named Solja. Yeah, he's a little eccentric when he builds uh, houses. He likes them really big. Don't know why. But as you can see, it is massive. It is going to be two floors, and uh, it is quite elegant. I, I like it. It's honestly, I wish you built uh, something more on the ground level, but this actually works. He still has a lot to a lot of work to do with the rooms and everything, but he's doing just fine in my opinion. I mean, look at that thing. Thing's massive. He has a little mansion compared to what we got. Alright, and that concludes the entirety of the tree community. Now, we're going to go down to uh, my other area. As you tell, there's something off in the distance. That is actually our bank. We, uh do a lot of trading with uh, diamonds, emeralds, iron, and that's how the, the community kind of works. We trade items that we need for items that we need. Because everybody always needs diamonds and iron. And emeralds are just rare in general, and you can trade that to the, the actual villagers, so that's kind of what we went for. But yeah, this is, uh, oh, that area that I started out in, that is actually called Home Tree. And somebody stole my cart. Great. Obviously, it's turning nighttime, but, uh, I'm not all that worried because I have myself a diamond sword. Uh, can't believe somebody broke my cart. Hopefully I find it at the bottom here, because I don't want to have to run all the way back up. As you can see, there's my little uh, walled-in farm just right over there. That's where all, the majority of the food comes from for the entire community. Yep, I have a cart there. And I also have a freaking creeper. Ow. Okay, let's see. Ah. Alright. 
right, so down here is the first house I built. I ended up making a nice little farm area for everything that I used up there. Ah, get in there. This is uh, kind of where it's all started, and this concludes the tour of my uh, lovely, lovely place. Oh, wait, I forgot one more thing. Butterfly would kill me if I didn't show this. See that over there? Uh, his Butterfly 69 built all of that. So we're uh, gonna go take a quick ah tour ah. Run away! Obviously, we've already been to the Nether. You saw my portal. Over there is her farmhouse. We'll get to that. She obviously likes to have a lot of dogs. And this place is actually like a labyrinth. So I'm not going to actually show you the entirety of this place. I'm just going to do a quick glance around. There's a... Uh, as her friend, I forget his name. Alright, well that concludes the tour of inside her castle. It, trust me, it is much more massive, but she'd kill me if I showed off all of her secrets. I understand there's uh, still a lot to be shown, but if we come over here, we see this is her farmhouse. It is not yet complete, uh, but it is definitely a work in progress. It's very awesome looking. And bear in mind, all of this was built all in survival. Over there's her uh, little uh, fishing house little hut on the on the lake get away oh get away oh no okay she'll kill me later for that one all right and this is a little fishing hut and that actually concludes the entirety of the tour of what's going to be called the community we're going to have a lot of fun in here. we got a lot of people that join in this world all the time. So you're going to see random people left and right. And I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.